So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you pack with the tubi or with any medical any child that has some medical needs um we have been to disney before and we also flew last time but this is our first time going with a tubi so packing is just a little bit different but there are like a lot of things um that i have learned along the way like for example um any medical bags, any medical luggage, so to speak. So whether it's checked or carry-on, or you can have as many as you need um, without any additional fees, which is great. Um, my plan is to get at least one. May he may we may have two checked and one carry-on. So let's see how this goes. All right. So this is all the stuff. Um, that will be going in my check in our check medical bags minus his formula um, so we're taking a total of two cases of formula just so that um, you know to make sure we have enough although one and a half will probably be enough but might as well make it two the formula is not here because I actually have already and I decided to go with these two smaller bags because my big like gigantic bag I'm using that one and my set only has four pieces so we're gonna make it work but anyway <clears throat> so these are gonna be our two check medical bags and then we're gonna have one check carry-on and I'll do that one separate um another thing also again about medical bags and such they are exempt from the liquids rule for carry-ons so if you, so when we get to the carry-on I'll go over that a little bit more for you um so what we have right now all that's going in the checked bags are uh, I need to take that bag out I need to take that out so in the check bags we have formula that's about a case and a half there and then here is the rest in here this little basin thing here is going to be for like washing out his syringes and stuff every day just because it's a little easier and i like this low profile i got that from the dollar tree actually i was super excited to find it um here we have gloves so we just have some we just have some gloves right here, um, all sizes, just in case anybody may need to assist or anything. And body fluids, you know. Nobody wants to touch my kid's stomach goo, I'm just saying. So, in the event that we need them, I have gloves. And a lot of this stuff is probably stuff that we probably won't need. But I live by the philosophy that I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, this is things to replace. and so We're going to call this like first aid stuff. How about that? So this is like diaper, um, this is basically just like a diaper rash cream and basically to care for his, for his stoma, to care for the site, for his G-tube site. Um, anything that can go, they can go on the bottom can go on the button, so to speak. So there is, that's that for cleaning every day. And then this is just like some lubrication, like KY jelly type stuff. Um, in the event that it comes out. It has to go back in and of course the lube makes everything nice and we don't want to stick that back in there without that. So that's just stuff I just pulled out of his personal stash we have here at home. Um, these are actually a gift. We are meeting another family there and she has been, this lady has been super sweet you guys on our whole tube journey. And like she's been super helpful and she, I just found out that she's going to be there the same time we are. So I made these little tube pads for her daughter. So those are that, that. These are Aiden's. He has seven or eight in here. I made these for him. Um, and these just go around his button. Kind of, you know, they're cuter than gauze. They're softer than gauze. And so, yeah. So, those are those. Water. This, um, this water is for basically flushing out his button every day. Um, I'm, I'm, of course, it's not going to last the whole time we're there. But I'm probably going to put this in the carry-on bag. Just because. No, I'm not. I'm going to take this tomorrow because I have another one. Um. But, you know, just for, like, flushing his butt in and all that stuff. Water for him to drink. But mainly it's for flushing his butt in and flushing his syringes and all that kind of stuff. So that's the water for that. Um, bottle brush is to clean out syringes with. Thermometer because kids. <laughs> this smaller bottle brush is also for um, cleaning out syringes and stuff. Because he has different sized syringes, so... I need different size brushes and also his tube I can clean his extensions I can clean with this as well um, again protonin jelly because again kids 
and I can and look and I can use this as well maybe even on other kids for legs and stuff you know okay so here is some dish soap and this is for washing his syringes again and what I'll do is I'll use that little basin that's over there and just use it in the sink and just clean his syringes every day so that's that Pedialyte in the off case that we are not feeling well and we are dehydrated and all that craziness um, I got these powdered Pedialytes and I, these were more favorable these were I like these better than like the liquid kind because once you open the liquid one you know the big one you have to use it within 48 hours so this I feel like is a lot better and I could just pour it in some water and give it some that way if him or actually anybody because kids yeah all right these here are all the pump sets so these are all the bags that go to his feeding pump um i packed double what we would need so we're only going to be gone for eight days and eight nights so i packed a total so i have a total of 16 bags here actually and i have two in my carry-on just in case one breaks one has a hole in it who knows i don't go go figure and then i have also i have two in my carry-on just in case as well so that's that and although we are doing like the blended diet where he's not on formula in the daytime he is on formula at night overnight so he gets formula all night overnight so bags for that these are and i have some of these in my carry-on in his carry-on as well these are the puke i'm gonna call them puke bags but you know how like when you go to the hospital and they give you little bags where you have to puke yeah those are these and we've had enough hospital stays that they kind of just give me extra so those there's a few of those in there and there's some to carry on as well this baby bottle and this mason jar okay these are mainly for the mason jar is mainly going to be for like our flight home and our flight there our flight home because i was going to use this in the park as well then i remember you can't have glass so for during the day for his like his blends and stuff i'm going to put them and in case we get to TSA and they want to open something or not, I can just pour it in here. So that's that. This bag here is all syringes, just different sizes, um, double what we would need because there are also some more in the carry-on. So this is, that's all syringes. This is called this is what I'm calling my bag of adhesives. So there are all type of adhesives there we would need for tape and all that kind of stuff. These are just more gauzes. Um, these are just gauze sponges to go around his button i mainly only really use the gauze on his button at night but he also has like a little belt that goes around it to protect his button at night while he's moving around these are extra extension sets for his tube for his tube because you know just in case we may lose one or what have you so there's an extra and there's also an extra in the carry-on and then this bag here is just liquid med we have some benadryl and some motrin there is some hand soap and some hand sanitizer, of course, um, that is all going. So all of this <laughs> stuff is going in those two small suitcases. Let's see how this works. All right. So you know what? That was not bad at all. Like, I feel like I probably really could if I had my big, my really like the really biggest piece available, I probably could have got all this in one. I did um, redistribute the formula just because I didn't want it to get too heavy for them to, you know, for the poor guys that are <laughs> going to be lugging this around. But they do have wheels, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I got everything in here. I didn't have to like smush anything or force anything. Everything is in here nice and, you know, just in here good. This is all of our stuff. I'm going to go ahead. This is, well, this is all of Aiden's um, medical stuff in these two bags. And I also made little tags to go in here to identify them as medical. Um, uh -oh. Uh oh just to kind of make it easier you know for the tsa staff um and luggage handlers and stuff so this is all the medical stuff there's one in there and there's one in here all right so that is all the medical stuff that is going to be checked um for our trip and of course these will be a little lighter on the way back because of course the formula is going to be gone so and some of the bags and stuff but that is all for our check luggage. Have you ever traveled with your Tubi? Do you know anybody that travels with a Tubi? Let me know. Anything I should add or take away? Well, I'm not taking anything away at this point. But, you know, anything you should, you should add. Did you find this helpful? Do you know someone that may find this helpful? If so, then go ahead and share, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.